Okay, guys, I'm at, uh, I'm at the, where Burlington Road West meets Bond Street, right outside the big blue hotel at Pleasure Beach. The reason I'm here is uh, basically uh, in a previous video of mine, someone picked out these towers, that, which I did a little story on. Basically, um, these like scaffolding towers here. <clears throat> it's just stood straight up for apparent no reason, just like decoration. If I remember back in the day when I was a child, well, when I was about 15, 15 year old, something like that. So we're going back back in 1975, 1976. <clears throat> these were part of the structure of what were called the big, uh, the swinging gyms. Swinging gyms were these um, cage swings basically that you used to get in four or five people could get in them and be a handlebar at either side and you try to get them to swing out and loop the loop now these were situated on the bridge above the ice drum i'll take you there in a minute but that's not the full meaning of me doing this video the other meaning is quite simply it's uh, the hundred year centenary of the big dipper the big dipper's a hundred years old this year so I'm going to give you a brief uh, history on the Big Dipper as well. So, like I said, we're at the, the corner of, oh, we're where Burlington Road West meets Bond Street. And Bond Street stretches all the way through down to Waterloo Road. Okay, so we're at the south end of the Pleasure Beach, where the big blue hotel is, at the back of the Pleasure Beach here. And this tower, yeah, like I said, it's quite simply was one of the uh, one of the structures, a part of the structure of the swinging gym cranes. Uh, not not cranes, sorry, the swinging gym swings. When I was back in the day, when I was a kid. So if there's anybody out there who remembers it, I'll try and jog your memory a bit more when I take you uh, to where they used to be. Okay, guys. Okay, so I'm just driving along Bond Street now on the back, uh, along the back wall of Pleasure Beach. You've got the uh, the old roller coaster there. I, th I think it's called the Nickelodeon Street now, but it used to be the roller coaster. Uh, and the back end of the Grand National here as well. So I'm heading down to the South Car Park now. Once again, you see this structure here. Different colour, but exactly the same. Exactly the same type of structure. And that's the uh, the other part of that structure of that swinging gym that I was talking to you about. So there's this, somebody might remember these because they're sat in car parks or at the back ends, apparently doing nothing. It might uh, might not jog your memory so much. But if I, uh, if I just take you down to where they were situated, maybe that will jog your memory now. We'll see. We'll see. So incidentally, uh, the um, Big Dipper, it's 100 years old this year. So I'm going to give you a little brief history on it once I've got it uh, in shot. And uh, if you like this video, hit the like button, subscribe, and share it. I'm going to turn it into Watson Road here. Okay, there we go. And see where it says arena there, that building. Just above it. This that's where then the swinging gyms used to be situated. They used to swing out over the road. If you were strong enough to get them to move that far. And if you were very strong, you'd get them to swing and loop the loop. But that right building there that looks like uh, basically like a conservatory. That wasn't there. The swinging gyms used to be there, and then two structures used to be either side of it. Now that's back in the day. We're going back to 
1976. So if anybody remembers that structure being there, give us a mention. Put it in the comments. But I certainly, for one, do remember that, them, that construction being there and the swinging gyms used to come out over the road. You used to try and swing them out over the road. And, and the, the, they were just sat there. It was like a... The main, the main thing you saw when you come down here was the ice drome, which is now called the Pleasure Beach Arena, the entrance to that, and the swinging gyms that used to come out over the top of the road. Okay. Okay guys, just going to cast our eyes on this now, the Big Dipper. The Big Dipper, the reason I'm doing this uh, video is uh, it's 100 years old this year, the old girl, the old Big Dipper there, 100 years old this year. It's the one with the, with the onion shaped uh, top. Incidentally, that onion was taken down earlier this year. It was uh, taken down, it used to be blue and white, it was taken down, painted gold and white. I, th I don't know if that's to mark the centenary year I'm, of it, I'm not sure. But 100 years old it is this year, and it uh, stands there proud amongst the last. It's hardly big anymore, but it used to be the big dip. It used to prob probably be the biggest ride on the Pleasure Beach, but uh, now it's uh, dwarfed in comparison by, of course, the big one there, the big one, the big one roller coaster. Okay, so anyway, back to the big dipper because it's all about the big dipper this year all about the Big Dipper, it's 100th year in 2023 Big Dipper's 100 years old so that's now 2023, we're 100 years old on the Big Dipper not bad for a wooden roller coaster, eh? built entirely of wood the Big Dipper so it's a wooden Total wooden roller coaster. It was originally built in 1923, which makes it 100 years old this year. It was extended in 1936, and it was designated as a Grade Two listed building in April 2017. So it's now a Grade Two listed building, the Big Dipper. 100 years old, Grade Two listed. It was manufactured by William Strickler and Philadelphia Toboggan Coasters Incorporated back in the day it was designed by a guy called John Miller and it only cost £25,000 to construct but then again you go back a hundred years twenty-five grand was a lot of money then a hundred years ago so the track on it is uh, approximately 3,300 feet long and the lift to the top of it is approximately 65 feet so it's not exactly uh, big at the side of the the big one but back in the day it was big so it's the first of its generation to use the new under track and side friction wheels to allow a steeper and faster design and it became famous in 1998 with uh, Richard Rodriguez, I don't know if you remember this fellow, the Richard Rodriguez. He uh, set the Guinness World Record on it for riding it for over a thousand hours. Uh, there's a plaque in, in the station of the Big Dipper commemorating this event. And then he doubled it two years later to 2,000 hours. So he doubled his, his own feat of a thousand hours to 2,000 hours riding the Big Dipper but then Guinness World Records they nullified the achievements by altering the rules in 2007 and Rodriguez's uh, new record was set on the big one and Big and Big Dipper and stands at 405 hours 40 minutes now so they quartered it the new record stands at uh, 405 hours 40 minutes I don't know why they nullified it. I'll try and do a little bit of research and get back to you on that. But uh, that's what happened. These 2,000 hours was nullified. So the new record stands at uh, 405 hours, 40 minutes. 
So 100 years old, the Big Dipper this year, and this video is to commemorate that. Hope you liked it, folks. It's the one with the big onion on the top. So, 7th of July 2023, Blackpool Promenade, dead opposite Pleasure Beach. If you like this video, hit that like button and subscribe. Big Dipper, 100 years old this year. Catch you later, guys.